Hello, today I'm going to show you one of the ways I apply TENS to manage migraine, tension headache, and cervicogenic headache. The goal of using TENS is based on the theory of what's called the gate control theory of pain. So what we're using with the TENS to do is send electrical signals to stimulate the occipital nerves, because that's where we'll place it today, and send signals to the spinal cord where they'll temporarily block transmission of pain sensation to the brain. I'm specifically using the 10 7000 device, and I'll put a link in the description as well as the, the settings I'm using. The settings I'm using today are for high frequency, low intensity. So that's 100 hertz, and the pulse width is 200 microseconds. The low intensity you'll adjust yourself on a small dial on the machine at the top, and you'll keep it low just enough to stimulate what's called paresthesia. The time I'm using is anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes for most people, sometimes up to 20. Research studies have people using TENS all the way up to two hours to treat their condition. It really depends on what device you're using, placements of electrodes, but for today what I'm going to show you is placement on the occipital area on the back of the neck. The way we do this is by finding the second, second vertebrae, so if you feel the back of your head and you'll kind of go down until you feel that first spinous process, and from there the electrodes just go to the right and to the left of those. So I'll show you that in one second. Okay, so now I've applied my TENS. So what I did is I came down the back of my head, felt the first spinous process, and my electrodes are on the back. Now it's hard to do this by yourself. I had to use a mirror, took a couple of pictures, but by the feel of it, this one is good. This one's probably a little too close, so I wanna move it over a little bit. And get it a little bit more on the lateral side there okay that feels better and it is hard to tell when you're doing this by yourself so here's my device again the 10 7000 and then i just turn the dial to get it started a very small turn just so i can see the settings and make sure it's the correct settings so again pulse width is 200 microseconds for me today and i'm using a frequency of 100 hertz uh, my timer is only set for 10 minutes Again, you can go anywhere from 15 to 20 is pretty typical, up to 120 for certain conditions. And then I just slowly turn this for the intensity. And I just go until I start feeling the buzz right there. So for me, it's about a setting of like a three or four for this machine. I'm not sure what that actually means for milliamps. Right? But it should stimulate, you should feel a buzzing. It's gonna be slightly uncomfortable, but it should never be, it should never be painful. You should be able to tolerate this for as long as the treatment requires. So the goal is to stimulate kind of like a paresthesia or numbness, which isn't uncommon to feel long after the treatment. So like after I take these off, I should feel, I might feel that it's still tingly or kind of like numb in that area. And that's pretty typical. So if you have any questions for how to apply TENS, um, that's how I do it with my patients, back of the neck, find that second vertebrae and right to the sides. And then I would work with them on figuring out where the exact placement is better for them. If their hairline is too long, like mine was getting too long, I probably do need to get a cut if I was going to keep doing this treatment for myself. And you want to keep that hairline a little higher so you can make sure the electrodes stick well and there's not hair that's impairing the electrode adhe adhesiveness to the skin. But there's plenty of ways to apply TENS. There's other ways too, like to the face, the cheeks, the forehead. This is just one application style that's out there.